what's up diamonds and gems welcome back to my channel i am your favorite girl a marie and today i have a massive drugstore haul for you guys So before we get into this unboxing, I would love for you all to hit the subscribe button as well as the notification and give this video a thumbs up if you like drugstore hauls and if you like first impressions as well as drugstore affordable makeup tutorials. So I went to Walgreens as well as Ulta and if you guys have missed it, I've done two hauls on my channel already. I will link those up in the card as well as down below in the hot box. Make sure you go check those hauls out because I've been purchasing a lot of the new items that have been coming out in the drugstore. And you guys are gonna wanna see the videos that I got coming up with all of these hauls that I am pushing out for you guys. So we're gonna start off with the Walgreens haul. So we're gonna start off with the Walgreens haul and I was surprised at the things that I found because of the simple fact, I went to a different Walgreens in my area and they had some products that I didn't even know were still in Walgreens as well as some products that I haven't even seen yet. So, we're going to jump off into those products next. So, we're going to start off with a brow pomade and this brow and this brow pomade is Archers in Halo by Tanya Crooks. You guys, Tanya Crooks products have been in my Ipsy and my Boxy Charm before, but I've never seen them in store. Now, I have seen Tanya Crooks come out in Target one time and I didn't pick up any of the products then and once I went back to get those products when I thought about it they were no longer there so I was excited to see that it was in my Walgreens but they were kind of on the more expensive side of drugstore products so I only vouched to get the pomade which the pomade was like $12.99 or $14.99 which I was just like, oh, I'm in at time. Yes. So this is the Luxury Brow Building Pomade, and I got the shade Espresso, and it says it's a professional brow, and vegan-free, cruelty-free, leaping bunny approved. So it comes with the brow pomade, and I believe the, why can't I think? In the brush, I do believe it comes with both of those, but we're gonna look into the box. I hope it's not just the pomade and it was like $14.99. And you guys, it's only the pomade in here. It comes with more packaging than pomade, but it does give you a little bit of instructions on how to build a brow, but and I, I want to say this is not dark enough for my brows. This almost reminds me of the e.l.f. brow pomade in espresso. But nonetheless, I can't wait to try it out and maybe it'll be a hit or miss for me. So the next thing that I found at the Walgreens is the Black Radiance Long Lasting Setting Spray. It's a fix and set. And Black Radiants have been coming out with a lot of bangers and I've been catching the newer items in different Walgreens. I haven't been catching them all in the same Walgreens. So I was excited to see this. They do have the loose, the loose setting powders that you guys know I love so much. So I'm hoping that this spray is just as good as all of the new products that's been coming out. It's not a big bottle, it is is two fluid ounces 2.0 two fluid ounces to be exact which normally oh never mind cover girl is 3.4 fluid ounces this one is 2.2 fluid ounces but it's still good to say 
doesn't have a real smell. I'm not gonna judge it yet, and I'm not gonna be against the two ounces, uh, the two fluid ounces or anything like that. It says spritz under makeup as a primer and over makeup to keep that just apply fresh makeup look all day. So you can use it as a primer and a setting spray. So I'm excited to try that out, you guys. Drugstore first impressions coming soon. Okay. First. Now this product I found and I was excited to find it because Andrea Renee here on YouTube, she really likes this product and I still love Andrea Renee, don't get me wrong. But it was only one product that she was hyping about and said she loved and I bought it. And now it's in a project pen to see if I can even try to use it up. But another product that she said she loved, I still grabbed it because I still believe in her. And it's gonna be the Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder. This is the lightweight mattifying last lasting up to five hours powder and this one is in 025 truffle and not truffle i'm sorry i meant to say toffee side note y'all scratch the people that's in the background you guys know how that goes when you live in an apartment complex i can't control what happens outside but anyways this stay matte all day this stay matte powder keep going to say all day by Rimmel London is in toffee and I'm hoping that it is my perfect shade because this was the only darkest shade I've seen and this is the first time I ever seen the darkest shade to my knowledge in store haven't even seen Rimmel London in a deeper shade in Ulta I have never seen it so I'm hoping that it is was buttery. I'm hoping that it's my skin tone. Let me see. Okay, maybe it is. You can't even tell I swatched it, so we may be on to something. So I cannot wait to try this bad boy out. I did go ahead and pick up a Stay Matte Liquid Lipstick by Rimmel London. And this one is in Be My Baby. I haven't heard anybody talk about it, but I decided to pick it up to try a new to see if I like at least their lipsticks. And of course, I'm a new person, so yeah, that may work for me. That is a pretty enough nude for me. And it feels moussey. It doesn't feel like just a liquid, watery lipstick. Okay, let's go into the All Made products. I picked up some All Made products that shocked me a little bit because All Made is another brand that just don't cater to me and my skin tone, so I haven't been so lucky with All Made. But if you guys would love for me to do a brands that don't cater to melanin skin tones, let me know and I will get that video done. But All May shocked me. All May came out with a foundation. It's the Skin Perfecting Comfort Matte Foundation and it's in 240 Warm Almond. All May has never came out with a shade that would match and this was the only shade that was for a deeper skin tone. So I was just like, oh, I have to grab it. I have to try it. Let's see. So I'm glad it was in warm almond. I don't see like any actual specs to it, like the claims. Besides it being lightweight filled and buildable coverage, it blurs looks of pores, fine lines, and imperfection. She looks kind of full coverage. So let me get a little bit and see. She's not full coverage, but she is on the orangey side and maybe she will oxidize down. Let me know if you guys would like for me to do a foundation wear test with this foundation. And I don't think it says, it just say all day where it doesn't give a specific, a specific 
hour length, but it's eight all day. I will test it out and wear it all day for you guys. Um, but I'm excited that they did come out with it. Let me know if you guys have seen this in your wall room. And with that, All May did come out with a new concealer, which is the All May Skin Perfecting Comfort Concealer. And this shade is in 220 Deep. And I was excited because it is in my shade range. I don't see the claims on here, but when I go to do the first impression, I will have the claims in the video. But here's what that shade looks like, and you get quite a bit. That's quite a bit. And it's a concealer stick. Sorry, you guys, if y'all hear that car out there. Like I said, let's not pay attention to the disrespectful neighbors that we have. Mm, she's screaming. This is the deepest it came, so pretty excited about that, but I wanted to blend it out and see. Okay, she's not a full coverage, but she's a wearable everyday coverage, and she's actually right there. She kind of blended into my hand. So there we have it for a foundation and concealer wear test day. Like I said, once again, let me know down below if y'all would like for that all day wear. I will have the claims to this concealer once we go to do that video. If you guys would like that video, I'm gonna play with the products anyway, but if you guys would like for me to bring it to camera, that's more than fine. And then the last product that I got from Ame is a blush which once again, I've never seen a blush from Ame in this shade range that go that deep enough for the melanin girls. So this one is the Ame Healthy Hue Blush and it's in the shade 400 Wild Berry. So I'm super excited to have this one and hopefully she is a good healthy hue, but she's, oh, she's a pretty color. Oh, okay, she's not that popping, but she's popping enough, yes. She's popping enough that means that she will be seen on the cheeks and not just blend into the skin and disappear. She will actually appear. Yeah, I like that. She kind of reminds me of Black Radiance uh, blush. And I'm pretty sure she's buildable. She feels good and smooth. Yeah, she's buildable, look at that. So I'm happy to try that, let me know your thoughts and your requests down below. So moving on to the one Milani product that I found and you guys I was shocked to see this as well. Let me know if any of these products you guys are seeing that y'all have saw already and I'm just late to the bandwagon or something because I just found the Milani Cream to Powder Foundation and this one is in the shade 280 Spiced Almond. Let me know where I've been, you guys. Let me know where I've been. Because I haven't seen this. I haven't seen it. Nowhere. And it says cream to powder. And I think there was one shade lighter in the store. But I, I assumed that it would be too light. It's kind of hard to do any kind of shade matching in the drugstore. Because they don't have testers like Ulta and them. So it was kind of hard and I decided to go with a more deeper than way more lighter. Okay, she's real creamy. Y'all, okay, wait, let's do this again. I think I'm getting so good with swatching and looking for my shade range that I got nailed it. You don't see her at all. So hopefully I did good by picking the Spiced Almond and I will be testing her out pretty soon. She does come with a little sponge, which nobody used, and she does have a compact mirror. All right, let's move on into e.l.f. I picked up three things from e.l.f. and I'm excited for e.l.f. I did pick up their Camo Concealer Sponge. It's best with our Camo Concealer. I will try it out with the Camo Concealer. Y'all know I just picked up a new shade in the Camo Concealer if you watched that previous haul. So I will be testing this out for that. And then I picked up another bite size eyeshadow palette. This one is in Carnival Candy. Yes, Carnival Candy. 
I like that offer more matte and I got excited for this pop of blue. So I can't wait to do a look with this, y'all. I already know that I have cream and sugar and I'm planning on doing a eyeshadow tutorial with cream and sugar. So let me know if you want one with the carnival candy because I am excited to do it. Y'all know I love our all matte look anyway, so I think it'll be right up my alley. So moving on to the last thing I got from e.l.f. I finally picked up another foundation from e.l.f. This one is in the shade 560 Chocolate, and it says it's a cool red undertone. So with it saying cool red undertone, it made me feel a little neutral with a little bit of red undertone in it. So I'm hoping that I finally found my shade in the e.l.f. foundation. Y'all, this has been years of hunting for. So I'm hoping that this is the right one. This is the oil-free medium coverage uh, foundation, I almost said concealer. But this one is a satin finish, so I'm super excited to try that out. I haven't used a satin finish foundation from e.l.f. at all. So I'm kind of excited about it. And then the last two products that I was excited to see at my Walgreens, well not my Walgreens because like I said, I didn't even know that this Walgreens still sold these items and I was just like, what? I was super excited. So it is by the brand Jordana. You guys should all know about Jordana. I miss Jordana. I don't know where Jordana went. I know they're like a sister company to Milani, if I'm not mistaken. So I did go back to a old love, just a new shade, the Jordana Sweet Cream Matte Liquid Lip Colors. And this one is in Cinnamon Toast, number 22. And these sweet creams, what they call sweet creams, which are liquid lipsticks, they are some good wearable liquid lipstick. They last all day, they're soft on your lips, they don't budge, they're the bomb. If you ever come across the sweet creams, pick one up, just one, try it out, let me know what you think. And then the last product that I got from Jordana, I didn't even know Jordana sold, so I was super excited to even see it. And this is the Jordana Takeover, no, the Jordana Take Cover Full Coverage Concealer. And this one is in the shade 14 Toffee Caramel. You guys, I don't know anything about this concealer because I didn't even know Jordana sold concealers. Even when I was hard down into Jordana back in the day, I didn't even know, I, I've never seen a concealer from Jordana. So with them having a concealer, it makes me wonder do they have a foundation out there somewhere. So now I gotta be on a foundation hunt for some Jordana Take Cover Foundation. So I don't even know the claims to it. It says it's a full coverage concealer, that's all it gives me. I don't know much about it, but you guys, I cannot wait to use it in a first impression. So that is everything that I found at my Walgreens, at the Walgreens, in that trip. So now we're gonna move over into... Yeah, I'm screaming from the rooftop. Wait, right. so for the Ulta haul, you guys, these items been in my favorites for a while. And I didn't even remember putting them in my favorites or having a favorite, but I was searching online, looking at the items that other people were hauling, and I was going to my Ulta online and clicking on the items just to see if they were there, and that's what made me come up to the favorites category. 